Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to perform the normal or standard consistency test of CMIT by using wicket apparatus. Wicket apparatus is used for a number of practicals or experiments that can be performed on CMIT which we will discuss in my upcoming videos. But in this video, we will discuss the consistency test by following the standard procedure of ASTM C187 and we will also discuss it in the context of Indian standard 4031968. We will discuss the significance of normal or standard consistency test and what are the apparatus and material used for this test and what is the standard procedure for this test and what precautions should be taken into account during this test and the results and conclusion of this test. So let's start our today's topic. First of all, what is its significance? Why do we need to find the consistency of cement? This test method is used to determine the amount of water required to prepare hydraulic cement paste with normal consistency as required for certain standard tests. This test is basically performed to determine the amount of water required for cement required to cement to complete its hydration process to make a consistent paste. Now, according to ASTM standard C187, it is defined as the percentage amount of water which is required to prepare standard cement paste when wicket plunger is set free to penetrate into paste up to 10 plus minus 1 millimeters reading is known as standard consistency or normal consistency of cement. Now, this is to uh, this is important to note down that this value is 10 plus 1 uh, plus minus 1 millimeter that is it ranges from 9 millimeters to 11 millimeters if the wicket apparatus plunger penetrates up to the value of uh, or fall within the range of 9 to 11 millimeters then this paste will be called as consistent or uh, this paste will be called as normal consistency of cement and this amount of water added is called as the standard or consistency standard consistent amount of water but whereas uh, an Indian standard defined it as the standard consistency is obtained when the wicket plunger penetrates to a 0.5 to 7 millimeters from the bucket of the uh, sorry from the bottom of the wicket mold as you can see over here there is only a difference of uh, where uh, in ASTM standard it measures from the top in 30 seconds that it should penetrate 9 to 11 millimeters uh, where while reading the uh, gauge reading on uh, from the top it should be within the range of 9 to 11 millimeters whereas in, in Indian standard it measures it from the bottom that we should or we shall have to repeat the procedure until we get this penetration that is 5 to 7 millimeters from the bottom as you can see over here in this picture or 33 to 35 millimeters from the top. So this is the ASTM standard and in this is Indian standard. In this video we are going to follow the standard procedure of ASTM C187. And what materials or equipments are required for this test are as you can see over here uh, mainly it is wicket apparatus and here is uh, some assembly of the wicket apparatus it include needle for initial setting time, final setting time and for consistency test, uh, mold and a glass plate it should be this glass plate should be non-porous and non-absorbent and measuring cylinder for the amount uh, of uh, water and for wagging of uh, cement we will use wagging balance stopwatch is also necessary because we have to note down the gauging time uh, as, as I told you before that uh, it should be 30 seconds the penetration uh, of a plunger should be uh, 9 to 11 millimeters in 30 seconds so we will have to note down this time and gauging trowel is also necessary tray is also necessary for the mixing of uh, cement and uh, water and now uh, if we talk about the uh, apparatus that is wicket apparatus uh, it it uh, it includes the uh, movable rod as you can see over here this is the movable rod and the weight of the movable rod is 300 plus minus 0.5 gram and diameter of plunger at the end of rod as you can see over here this is the 
this is plunger and its diameter is 10 plus minus 0 0.05 millimeters and diameter of needle there are two needles which are used for initial and final setting time of the cement that we will discuss in the upcoming video and inside diameter of the mold at the bottom but the diameter of a mold is not same it is 70 plus 3 millimeters at the bottom and uh, inside diameter at the top is 60 plus minus 3 millimeters and height of the mold is as you can see over the one in the black color is the mold which has to be filled with the cement paste and its height is 40 plus minus 1 millimeters and graduated scale this is the graduated scale and the scale accurate to within 0 0.1 millimeters and the total it has uh, of about 50 millimeter graduation now coming towards procedure uh, first step is take an ordinary portland cement of 500 grams and weight it in the electrical or physical balance and take 26 to 33 percent of water to cement say in first trial take 28 percent that is 140 millimeter or 140 gram water in a graduated cylinder now this value is uh, for example if we take 28 uh, percent it will come out 140 gram of 500 28 percent of 500 gram of cement we will take 140 gram that is 28 percent of 500 gram of cement now take a pot and put the cement and water in it and mix with the help of a trowel now completely fill the wicket mold thoroughly and press it to completely fill the mold with the help of a trowel or with the help of hands now it is very necessary to note down that the mixing time according to stm c3051 the cement paste must be properly mixed and placed in the test specimen within a maximum time of 4 plus minus 1 by 4 minute or you can say 4 minutes from the instant when the cement and water were initially brought in contact this this time should be noted when cement and water come in contact and stopwatch should be started at that time the st sixth step is remove the excessive cement paste from the mold with the help of spatula and place the mold under the plunger needle of 10 millimeters now tight the plunger at the level so that it touches the surface of the cement paste and also note down the value when it uh, on the graduated scale when the plunger touches the cement set the movable indicator of wicket apparatus to upper zero mark the scale and gently release the plunger to cement place to penetrate for 30 seconds now this is the gauging time this is very important to note because we are following stm standard and it says that in 30 seconds the plunger have to penetrate 9 to 11 millimeters within 30 seconds so stopwatch is necessary over here note the penetration of plunger into the cement paste it should be 10 plus minus 1 millimeter if not then repeat the whole procedure by changing the percentage of amount of water in each trial if this penetration is more or less then you will have to vary the percentage that is uh, as i mentioned before that it values ranges from 26 percent to 33 percent so you can uh, choose any value within uh, according to your result if penetration is low you can increase the amount of water if penetration is high or greater you can decrease the amount of water by one or two percent precautions the mixing of cement should be done in a non-porous glass plate the plunger needle should be clean every time before its penetration in the cement paste wicket apparatus should be free from vibration during the penetration gauging time should be strictly observed during cutting and smoothing of the ring or mold take care not to compress the paste the apparatus shall be free of all vibrations during the test all apparatus used should be clean mixing should be done carefully as 90 percent of cement paste properties depend upon mixing now coming towards conclusion the weight of the cement for this experiment is 500 gram and let's suppose in C, uh, serial trial number one we uh, took about 26 percent of 500 gram that is 130 gram of water should be added if we take 26 percent the depth of penetration we obtained was 6 millimeters which is lower than our range in second trial we took uh, 27 by increasing 1 percent of uh, water it, it comes out to be 135 gram and the penetration was 7.5 millimeters 
and when we used uh, the increase the percentage of water that is 28% which comes out to be 140 gram of 500 gram the penetration came 9 millimeters okay now this is within the range so the conclusion is normal consistency of the given sample of cement is found to be 28% as it lies within the range of 10 plus minus 1 millimeter as per ASTM C187 which is 9 millimeter in our case I hope you have understand the procedures uh, for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates